Hello, my name is Ansgar Krause and I want to show you how easy it is to enter stacks of figured base numbers and symbols in music notation software using the font Final Figured Base. It is available for Macintosh and Windows operating systems and works in applications like Finale, Sibelius, Capella and others. Because it is a font, it can be used even in word processing or desktop publishing software like MS Word, Adobe InDesign or Quark Express. In my demonstration I will use it in Finale 2010 on a MacBook Pro. Let's see the available characters within the font. We have the numbers, accidentals and altered numbers, brackets and alternate altered numbers, and last not least, superscript accidentals and some lines. The entry concept is based on a special keyboard layout that offers extremely fast entries and maximum flexibility. Accidentals can be placed in front of or behind the number or even as a combined symbol. The stacks can be entered from bottom to top or the other way around and if your software does allow it above or below the staff. The fastest way to enter the characters is as lyrics text. Before going into detail I will show you how fast it is. I will recreate these characters. Okay, let's start in real time. Let me say it's not as fast as it could be because I always have to look what I have to type. Okay, that's it. There are two things that enable this entry method. All characters do not proceed the cursor, enabling further entries at the same horizontal position. And second, nearly all characters, I show you, these and these and these and these, nearly all characters are available four times within the font, each with a different distance to the baseline. To understand this, I will drag a keyboard viewer here, and now I will show you. Let's say I press the 6 and here, and here, and here. We get the same character in different distances. So, if we need an altered character, we do the same, but with pressing the Shift key. So, that's not a realistic situation. Let's say I need a 4-6 chord. I start in the row here, 4, and the 6 here, that's it. If I decide to enter the characters below the staff, I would have taken this 4 and this 6, enabling chords like this one. OK. Going back. Now, the accidentals are on the keys that don't need an altered number. That are the 1, the 3 and the 8. So here are the sharps, here are the flats and here are the naturals. So let's say I need a 4 sharp. I press the 4 and if I would press the sharp directly now, that would be shift 1, they would collide. Because, as I said, all characters do not proceed the cursor. That's why we have built in one 
distance character. So I deleted the sharp. The distance character is here. And then I can press Shift 1. Or I can do it the other way around. First, Shift 1, distance character, and the 4. Or I can choose the altered version. Shift 4 here. By the way, it's possible that you find the distance character on your keyboard to the left of the number 1. If you have several numbers below each other and some of them with an accidental, you have first to enter one of the stacks, then the distance character and then the next stack. Let's say 4, 6 with two sharps. Okay, 4, 6, distance, sharp, sharp. One further advantage of this concept is that the characters will stay together if you have to drag the baseline. The font is optimized for the US keyboard layout and is available for Macintosh and Windows computers. It works in most music notation software. Price is 30 euro. You can download a demo on my website and the documentation as well or send me an email.